It is time for the new Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Fix here on WMBG. I am your host, Robert Hodge, and today my guest is a brilliant songwriter, a beautiful instrumentalist, a great singer, and his name is Wyatt Baldwin. Welcome, Wyatt, to WMBG and Super Sound Showcase. Well, thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. Um, let's get you real close to that microphone, though. Um, you can you can lift it up a little bit because I want you to, to be heard very well. Right. Everything you say is important to me. <laughs> So you are still very active in the open mic scene, right? You still running that thing? Yeah, I, I host an open mic at Retro Daddio mm -hmm. once a month. It's the third Thursday still? Yep, third Thursdays, 8 to 11. Okay. Uh, yeah. So a lot of people know you uh, from that. Uh, I think the last is better part of the last year, um, everybody's known you for having blonde hair. So you've returned <laughs> to your original format. That's awesome. Yeah. And today we are actually going to promote a brand new record and uh, tell us about this cp this is exciting news that there's new music from you yeah well i've never uh, really released like a solo release i've always played in bands uh but i've always done solo you know on the side at like you know breweries and stuff like mm -hmm. that so it was, it was good to get the original music out um it's it's kind of different because like i usually play acoustic music and uh I wanted to try something a little different. Usually when I play blues and folk, like nowadays, it gets kind of like muddy. Like mm -hmm. that's a, it gets a lot darker now. So I kind of like made something that's a little closer to like uh, some of the blues, like the old 30s, like dance music from the blues and jazz, you know, kind of, it's kind of go, going more in that vein of blues and jazz. Did you just tell me you made 30s dance music out of blues and jazz? Is that what I just said? Well, it's like, it's <laughs> like, I feel like it was more like in the spirit that's of juke wild. joint rather than like, you know. Wow, and like, that's in this little record here. Yeah, it's like. I can't what, wait to hear that. I mean, it's not really like, if you listen to wow. it, you w wouldn't really think blues, but okay. like, that's where I'm coming from, but uh -huh. it's more of like kind of dancey, you know, something. Okay. Something very, like, I don't know, just fun. <laughs> well, you know, I said in the beginning when I first knew you about two years ago, I said that you had a lot of innovation coming. So, yeah, that sounds like you're well on your way to, to creating something that's all yeah. uniquely yours. <laughs> I like it. Well, thanks. So, um, where are you performing? Where, where can they see you other than the open mic situation? Do you um, have any gigs coming up? And you, you mentioned also a new band. You can talk about that as, if you want to tell us. Oh, yeah, I got, uh, well, as far as playing around uh, this Thursday, um, I play at the Corner Pocket in mm. Newtown. Right. It's a 7 and 9 on the patio. Yeah, and Lynn Allison is a marvelous hostess. So go out there, oh, yeah, have some great. food, play a little pool, listen to Wyatt Baldwin. It'll be a perfect night <laughs> at the Corner Pocket. Yeah, what else? And then, so then the Thursday after that is the open mic at Retro, and uh, I'll be hosting that. And then I think on the 30th this month, I'm playing at Aromas, which is kind of oh, like... Uh -huh. Aromas is usually like kind of where you can find me. I usually play there once a mm -hmm. month, at least. I like seeing you there, actually. It's a very comfortable room, nice food, great yeah. atmosphere, and you, you always do a good job. Yeah, I think that fits me really well as, like, as kind of a residency to like uh, play at a coffee shop. Right. It's, it's more laid back. You can really get into the music rather than, you know, like bar chatter, I guess. Yeah. Even though I like that, but for like some of the softer stuff I do it works really well yeah you know I like the the persistence that you've had in the two years that I've known you you're just you turn up everywhere and you're always so well put together when you show up to, to work and you know it's nice it really is nice I, I admire what you do oh thank you I appreciate that time to say that on the radio <laughs> and uh, give you my endorsement because uh, you know you do have a lot of things going on and, um, you know, a lot of people don't realize how much help you are to a lot of other musicians as well. You're always sitting in with people and always giving them opportunities as well. So you're always looking out for everybody, and that's a big thing. Oh. Well, thanks. Yeah, I do like to play with play around a lot. I mean, I just, any time I get to make music, and even if it's an instrument I'm not, you know, very good at, if I can sit back and help someone else make mm -hmm. a song, I enjoy that. Mm -hmm. You still have your own studio in, in your garage? You, you play around with some of that? Yeah, yeah. That's where I, I, I make demos there. I, uh -huh. I play the drums, play the bass for my own songs. You know, it's not as good. Usually I, I record that way, and then I have, like, all my ideas out on in a waveform, and then I can uh, give to other people that can play those instruments better right. to kind of help me, like, see it through. Wow. So what's the, uh, the first song you're going to do for us? What do you got? Um... Well, this is the second one off the EP. It's called Elevator Music. Okay. And uh, it's it's kind of, it's weird. Like, I call this EP kind of like a soft alter e ego album. Because, like, <laughs> I was like, I was funny because I even changed my hair 
just because it was kind of like an experiment almost to see like you know how much like you know the parents would like mm -hmm. adjust the perception of me a little bit and like since like the sound was kind of a departure sure. of nice. what i did i was like it was uh, it was kind of fun. It actually turned out to be a lot. You know, a lot of people just commented about it, like mm -hmm. how much I looked different and how I was acting different. I don't know. And you're keeping me on my toes because <laughs> we're going to do the second song as the first song. Okay, so here we go. Yeah. I'm paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of this song? It's called Elevator Music. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, give, lay it on me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> important it's just a nickname i always like it's got a ring to it la da la da 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 la da 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 i'm not what you perceive that's my identity a clever illusion made for tv i'm a spectator with desire to be observed Cause when I listen to the air I hear my own words Taking me to every floor in my mind Like an elevator Cause when I get up I feel so low You never have enough Oh no Ego show Ego go Whoa. Ego show Ego go but I love you, dear Let's try this again Conversing with names in the cloud For satisfaction But I can't find love In the distraction They'll just tear me apart and build me up again to strict specifications of a man I don't need a leader or a teacher that participates in theater corrupt in my heart but it's too late they got us from the start oh no ego show ego go Whoa. ego show ego go but I love you, dear. Let's be friends. song before and you know what's interesting how interesting that you would take the theme of it being an elevator and up and down with your voice with the guitar and and, and even the lyrics are so indicative of what you're trying to create as a theme that's a whole different vein of writing for you it's very nice oh, thanks yeah I really like that. yeah the whole ep was trying i was i wrote the the third song's the only one i wrote before i started recording and uh -huh. then after that i was like i just need to keep writing yeah, as yeah. I record to keep the themes kind of going. So, yeah. If you are just tuning in, this is Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Picks on WMBG. Our guest today is Wyatt Baldwin. And Wyatt, what's the next song? What do you got? Um, well, I guess now I'll give you the first one off the, off the <laughs> I knew scene. you were going to say that. <laughs> uh, This one's called You Can't Lie If I Pay You First. Um, <laughs> This one, this one is kind of fun to play because it's, uh, I don't know, it's, I, I kept it uh, intentionally very vague. Um, okay. Um, but like, it's it's interesting to hear people's reaction to this. Like, some of the stuff I do is very, very kind of weird to some people, I guess. And uh, and like, so I don't know. Sometimes you're definitely an independent rocker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I okay, guess good. so. Yeah, and like, so it's like, so hearing people's reaction, this like kind of says more about them. Than it does about me, so it's 
I think everyone draws their own thing from it. All right, but well, I will give you my honest opinion when we're done. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at an old billboard outside a convenience store Put bright paint on old wood, deception looks so good Everyone has got their business, but none of them will sell you a kiss. Well, you get more honesty from a man son elixir remedy. Then you'll get from me. I ain't got no satisfaction guarantee Whoa Oh exchange all of me for you please don't lie when I pay you first you Spending my money Or listening to you say you love me
Bye, bye, bye. Buy ourselves some time. We're broke on love, but this wine should be enough to buy ourselves out of our mind. If I pay you first, you can lie. If I pay you first, I do like that song, and you know I love some of the imagery in it. And you've connected your vocal registers, the high and the low, in in such a seamless way now. And you have really come a long way since the last time I heard you. Oh, thanks. That's, it's so strong and very nice. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those songs that there's so much imagery in there and so much foreshadowing and all kinds of little special things that make you really think. So I see why you're getting that kind of, of reaction. I love the line about love being like spare change. You're begging for it, <laughs> spare change. Yeah, That's it was great. like, I, the, the song was inspired by like a, like a gas station billboard. And that's uh -huh. like kind of like the... I saw it, it was like a shell station that said, like, you know, locally owned, and I thought that was kind of a funny thing for a yeah. franchise to say. Right. And I was like, so I was like, I was, I don't know, I played around with, like, kind of like, you know, trust and, and mm -hmm. like, love being kind of, like, more of a currency, mm -hmm. and how you pay each other that way, and, like, I, I was, I was very, like, yeah. I had this thought that I was like, I was like, maybe people were, like, trust, like, advertising a little bit more than we sure. trust each other. I really like that, the line that you don't have any satisfaction guarantee, that's really cool. In fact, that song was, was beautifully written and, and had a deep message. Made me forget all the other Bob Dylan songs I've ever heard. <laughs> I like you. You're, you're now replacing Dylan in my esteem. <laughs> so, anyway, you know what? I think there's, there's just enough time for uh, one short song. Do we have something that's not, uh, not real long? Um, Play us out with something grand. Something grand. Okay, um... Let me think of my short songs. Some of them do drag on a bit. Oh, wait. Actually, before you start that, tell them real quick, where can we find this album? Okay. Uh, uh, well, do they uh, have to find you to find it, or is it... <laughs> you, you can find it either way. You can type Satisfaction Guarantee, which is the name of it, uh, into any streaming site. It's on oh, Spotify, okay. awesome. Tidal, iTunes, you know, all that stuff. And uh, nice. it's also on Bandcamp, and you can find me on uh, Facebook mm -hmm. if you type in White Baldwin Music. Or, or you can call the station like and say, where was that talented young man? And I will tell them. That too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, I guess I guess I could close it off with a, uh, with kind of like one of, the, one of my, uh, it's one I do live a lot. And it's, I've been playing it for a while. And uh, people always ask me to play it. It's one of the favorites. So that's, I'll end it with that one. Okay. <laughs> I'm going down the tracks to find a place to stay And maybe find me someone to blow my blues away And I'll go jumping all night long well, I came across the town, they were playing music proud so I picked up my guitar and I played it nice and loud and they were jumping Oh, all night long well, I moved my home but I'm never going back again Well, I like this place a lot I think I'll stay a little while And find myself a spot where I can sit in quiet denial But I'll be jumping 
oh, all night long. Well, they gave me food and water, and I built a house myself. I don't need to go no further, cause I got enough to sell, and I'll go jumping. Oh, all night long. Oh, I love my home, but I'm never going back again. I learned on my own You can call any place a home Just buy yourself a telephone You never feel like, never feel like Never feel like you're alone All right, Wyatt Baldwin, I have heard you play that live and I know why it's the favorite. You are not playing around with that guitar. Well, you are playing around with it, but you're not really playing. <laughs> that's really something else. I like that tune. And did you write that one as well? I did. That's, I did. Yeah. that's a marvelous tune. I do like it. That's Wyatt Baldwin. This is Super Sound Showcase. I'm Robert Hodge. This is WMBG. And we are sponsored uh, by Culture Fix. We are grateful to Steve and Jen and Shirley for all their support and all of their encouragement. So thank you for listening. We'll be back next week with another episode of Super Super Sound Showcase. Have a great day.